turns off, comes back in, detects me. Welcome back. We are doing another smart home update. As I mentioned in the last video, this is a brand new house, so it's a bit of a blank slate. So today we're going to do a couple peace of mind updates for while you're moving, carrying boxes in and out of the house, and just a little bit of a security fix. So in the first video, I used a bunch of products from Sonoff. Uh, my thought process was if they're all from the same brand, they should all work together and it should be pretty seamless to integrate. Then somebody left a comment on the video and said the whole point of Home Assistant is so that you're not constrained to a single provider. And I sat there and I was like, it's true. I literally chose to not go with like Amazon, Apple, Google, or whatever in these systems because I wanted the freedom and the flexibility to use whatever I wanted in whatever manner that I wanted. So we're breaking out of the Sonoff ecosystem and we are going with some Acara. Uh, this brand seems pretty popular online, so I wanted to give it a shot and see how it does and how easy it is to integrate. First things first, let's unbox the door sensors. They are the Acara FB2 door and window sensors. The larger piece is the actual sensor and the battery component. The smaller piece is just a magnet and a plastic housing. The sensor works by detecting a change in a magnetic field. So the first one is going to go on the garage door leading to the backyard. Oh, I didn't even consider the frame protruding so far. I guess I'll have to put the sensor on the door to make things fit properly and repeat the same process on the front door. It may end up painting this one so it doesn't stick out so much. All right, well, I mean, while we're installing things, let's do the plug next. This is the Smart Plug US edition, and it specifically says it needs a hub to work. Uh, first impression, this thing is huge. Pretty decent quality, though. Uh, let's compare it to the one from Sunoff. Yeah, the Akara one is the same height as the Sunoff, is wide. Uh, I'm going to put this in an outlet in the basement directly beneath the front door, so hopefully this expands that connection. Alright, so next up let's do the hub, because uh, I know for sure the plug needs it, but the door sensor might also benefit from it. This is the Acara Hub M2, and it is all black and plastic. It has an Ethernet jack, a micro USB port, and a USB-A port. So let's get this set up. Ooh, I'm shot. Right, into the phone. All right, so we open the Acara app, add accessory, Hub M2, the light is flashing. Indicator light checked. My home. I'm sure. Um, it's gonna take a bit. I do have to say, I really like how Matter uses QR codes to just connect everything. It makes it very convenient. I mean, uh, it's funny because I find myself hating QR codes at like restaurants and businesses now, but like for this kind of thing, I think it's super easy and helpful. So in doing my research for setting these up, I read that you needed to do a software update in order to get uh, the hub into Home Assistant. So this is just finishing up. With that done, I should be able to go into the Matter option, click on the sharing code and copy it. Now in Home Assistant, I can add a new Matter device. On this QR screen, I want to click More Option, and there the hub is. Now I can just paste the code I just copied and complete. Well, that was quick. All right, next, let's see if I can connect the uh, plug directly into Home Assistant. Uh, and it doesn't work. So now we will try the Acara app. Add accessories.
Smart outlets, identify the hub. Now it's waiting, searching and searching, and now it found it and leave the defaults because I don't really care. Let's try turning it on and it works. Okay, that was straight up, pretty simple. Okay, now with that all squared away, I wanna do the, whoa, that's bright, shadow. Uh, I wanna set up this new presence sensor. While I fully believe that I can get the presence sensor from that first video working, I just don't want to. Uh, it's funny, in a lot of these Home Assistant videos, I see the spouse approval factor and they wanna talk about how like easy and simple these things are and they make life convenient, so spouses love them. And I'm, I'm gonna change that to self approval factor and I don't want to do a ton of like deep diving and discovery. I want things to work and I wanna buy and or, and or make things that just work. I don't want to have them be a hindrance and I have to constantly tinker with them. So while I, th I know I could get that other one to work, I just want to try this one and see if this one works out of the box. So first things first, I got to figure out where it goes because right here is a door to a hallway that's pretty much always open. So I don't want to detect motion there. Uh, so it's probably going to go somewhere in that corner. All right, let's get this set up. So as I was getting it out of the box for the second time, I realized that this back part is a magnet. So instead of trying to put it in a corner, I think I'm just gonna put it here because it should cover both of these desks. So regardless of which one I'm working at, what I'm doing, if there are other people in here, whatever, it should pick up both of us and it can't see behind it. So it won't see the hallway. So I think I'm just gonna go here and then home assistant sitting right here. So should be a great connection. All I need to do is get it plugged in. <laughs> QR code is on the inside and then we also have uh, the USB port in there as well. into the screen, uh, home assistant, settings device, nope, not an integration, devices, add device, add matter device, we go more options, Oh no. Let's see if it's a Zigbee device. Not looking like it. Okay, well, we'll go into Akara. Go into Add Accessory. Sensor? Present Sensor FP2. Add to home, connecting. Okay, so the other, the smart plug that was in, that I had to set up in Akara. Um, what? Incompatible network? All right, I'm gonna troubleshoot this and I will get back to you. 
well, as has been my luck today, uh, I just kept trying and eventually it worked. So I don't know why, but I just had to do it a couple times and then re did a factory reset and I got it to go. So here we go. Binding device. Still don't know what this means, but I mean, I know that it's for connecting to the Akara hub, but like, whatever. Anyway, no, I do not want, uh, well, it's wall mounting. I don't want sleep monitoring. Next step. The installation. Uh, this room's too small to have zones. I don't care. Configuration start now. Automatically enlarges the detected zone to minimize the display ratio of edge. Another pull view shows the complete zone. Sure, whatever. Don't know what any of this means, but it's working. Also, ignore this. I'll uh, do a tour later. Now, to get it into Home Assistant. All right, Home Assistant now, as you can see, we got our dashboard. Got our two door sensors showing up. And why is one showing as open when it should be closed? Have to check on that. Anyway, notifications, new device discovered. Check that out. Oh, what is it? Put this in studio. Now we can come down. Look at that. Presence detected, one. All right, this was a big issue with the other one. I'm gonna walk out of the room. Clear, okay, and walk back in and detect it. Oh, buddy. Sweet, let's do a quick um, automation. Create automation, add trigger. Um, device. Presence sensor. Um, became not occupied. Let's do it for 10 seconds, not 100. And we'll just leave it alone for now. We'll do. Um, we'll do the fill light, turn fill off, save. Studio light off, no, nobody present. Detected, so if we walk out, oh, I didn't wait 10 seconds. Boom! Now... Okay, okay, okay. I was a little impatient there. We are gonna go to automations. We're gonna go to this one. Change this. We'll leave it at 10 seconds. I was just impatient. My bad, my bad. Okay, 
this is, we're getting somewhere. This is way better than the last one. Okay, now we're gonna turn, we're gonna use that same one. Present, and we're gonna say, when became occupied, we just want it instantly. And then we're gonna do device, we're gonna do fill light, we're gonna turn on. I'll get better at these names, I promise. All right, one more time. Leave the room. Still detected. I turned it on. Clear, one Mississippi, two Mississippi, three Mississippi, four Mississippi, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Roughly turns off, comes back in detects me. Okay, okay, I'm sorry. I know you guys have been doing this way longer than me and I really appreciate you uh, supporting me on this journey, but I'm starting to get it. It's starting to be really cool, okay? Okay, I get it, I get it. I have so much more work to be done, but there are some cool things that you can do here. All right, so final thoughts. Uh, home automation, home assistant in particular, Super cool, super handy. Uh, first time using the app today. It's actually fairly clean and pretty straightforward. We're very big fan of that. Overall, I would say I like a car devices about the same uh, as Sonoff, probably a little bit more. Like their presence detector alone is so much better. Again, I'm sure I could fix that one and I probably will in a future video, but for right now, this worked. I would say I think the Acara plug like the uh, switch has more information because it tells you about energy usage and all that but it's just massive <laughs> like i don't think it needs to be that big flip side i like that it's a zigbee router so it's extending that matter over thread still learning all the differences i'm sure there's probably something uh anyway i appreciate you guys all tagging along with this home automation journey i'm sure my uh, automation seem very pedestrian compared to some of the things out there, but I'm just learning. I'm getting started. I like this, but like I said, I'm not trying to overcomplicate things. So I, I'm really looking for simple. Uh, anyway, if you've made it this far, I appreciate you for watching. Uh, please like and subscribe and leave comments on uh, anything that I could improve upon. And I will see you around the bend.